Welcome back to The Masked Singer and our Group B Finals. Up next is Her Majesty, Queen of Hearts. In my entire life, I wanted to have a sense of community. And I found it in some really unusual and unexpected places. There was definitely a time in my life when I was living like an animal. My primary concerns were where to get food, where to get shelter that was safe. Wow. Oh, that's a devil. Red dog. I remember this one time, I was walking down the street, and I was really losing hope. And this man, I passed by, he looked at me, and darn it if that man did not reach into his pocket and hand me out a $5 bill. Knowing that he wanted me to eat that night, it just meant the world. Look at your own life, and you go, I gotta stop complaining. I've gotten to see life from both sides now, real poor and real wealthy. And I still gotta say, it is the poorest people who are the most generous. She's gone through so much. She's so inspiring. She's empowering. Did things I was a broken thing. Had a voice, had a voice, but I could not sing. You would wind me down. I struggled to fly now. Oh, so lost. The line had been crossed. I had a voice, I had a voice, but I could not talk. You'd hold me down I struggle to fly now Oh, but there's this scream inside That we all try to hide We hold on so tight But I don't want to die I don't want to die So I don't care if I sing off key Cause I found myself in this melody and I sing for love, I sing for me I shout it out like a bird set free I don't care if I sing or peace I'm a sound in this melody I sing for love, I sing for me I shout it out like a bird set free feet and the pole is in tears. Talk to the queen, please. I mean, all hail the queen, everybody. Right? Like, probably one of my favorite performances ever on this show. There's a reason that you're the heart. You're like the blood in our veins to our heart right now through that performance. Thank you so much. Absolutely. It's one thing just as a fan of music to enjoy a performance, but it's another thing to feel it, and uh, God bless you. We're, we're, just, we're just honored to be in your presence. Y'all, I'm shaking from that before. <laughs> I'm just shaking. <laughs> okay, I'm pulling it together. <laughs> so it's a heartfelt performance, extremely powerful, but before we get into the guessing, I'm sure the panel needs some help. Men in Black, bring out the Nick Cannon Cannon. Yeah! You think you're so cool with that cannon. All right, Ken, this is for you. Oh, it's for me? Oh, oh, there Where it is, Ken. It? Oh, God. There it is, Ken. <laughs> Thank you. Huh. Wrestle. Huh. So you do Wrestle WrestleMania or something? Well, Queen of Hearts can help us out. So, I'm not afraid, like you, to get in the ring and get a little bit dirty. Oh! Dirty. dirty. Did you get dirty with the Queen of Hearts, kid? <laughs> First of all, don't tell my wife. Second of all, I was on WWE Raw. Is dirty a Christina Aguilera reference? It's... 
I think that's right. Did you have a fling with Christina? I did not have a fling. <laughs> Your face turned as red as that shirt. <laughs> I know, I know why. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the clues. <laughs> I don't know if Christina Aguilera had guessed it on WWE Raw. And the way she said dirty, all that reminds me of Extina because she's... Is that what you call her, Extina? That's your little nickname? Yes, Christina is a family friend, Nick Cannon. We carpooled to work. When she recorded her last album, I was her ride. <laughs> oh, my God. Could you sit your genie in the bottle ass down, yes. please? Oh. Christina could pull that off. That's Christina for sure. could, could pull, pull that off. And she sang in French a couple weeks ago. She did the yeah, Moulin Rouge. She could. She's an amazing singer. But if I'm going off of some of the clues this week, I saw a devil. Did y'all see a red devil? I did. We did. Now, this artist sang the theme song to Devil Wears Prada. Katie Tunzel. Oh. oh. Yeah. Suddenly I see people, okay? Suddenly I see. That's a good name. But we take it back last time. I think they won a Blockbuster Movie Award, right? Right. Now, the era of the Blockbuster Movie Award, <laughs> it was the time of the Lilith Fair, right? Do we oh, remember the yeah. Lilith Fair? I love Lilith so Fair. So I'm thinking yeah. Sarah McLaughlin, yes. mm. Natalie Merchant, yeah. Joan Osborne. And you know what? Paula Cole, where have all... The Cowboys are gone, yes. people. What are you, an MTV VJ right now? What's going on here? We're calling them out for the bobbleheads, Ken. <laughs> but you know who also was from the Lilith Fair as well? I know I said this before, but I'm hearing it in the voice. I've been feeling it for a little bit now. Jewel. Oh. Oh, God. Did Jewel go to WrestleMania? Probably. Or? Jewel does everything, Jewel Ken. Well, whoever you are, Queen of Hearts, you were just incredible. I don't know who's going to win tonight, but you going up against the Bull could be one of the best finals we've ever had. So thank you so much. Absolutely. Y'all keep it going for Queen of Hearts. She did amazing. Now head on backstage. This is a hard one. Two of the best that we've ever seen, Queen of Hearts or Banana Split. Banana Split, they're entertainers. They put on a good they show. They do both. And then yeah. Queen of Hearts it just tugs at your heartstrings. Right. Oh, this is going to be a battle. Hey, it's your old buddy, Hillary. I'm just here to wish you the best of luck with all my heart. Go get them, Queen of Hearts. Welcome back to the Mass Singer Group B Finals. Now it's Queen of Hearts' turn to blaze the stage with Nicole. Watch this. I'm so grateful that I said yes to this experience. And the fact that I said yes might surprise some people. Because I've been known to turn down some really big opportunities with big price tags. But something about the Mass Singer just really made me want to do it because I knew I'd be excited to play and do things I've never done before. I mean, I even sang in French. That is by far one of the best vocal performances in six seasons. Yes. I don't like to brag about myself, but I feel really good about what I'm doing here. And it just taught me that I just gotta keep pushing. Only one performance stands between me taking on the bull in the grand finale. I'm nervous, but at least I got Nicole by my side. I am so excited. Heart is all about the emotions, and every time she sings, I'm just moved. Although rehearsing without being in the same room has been the weirdest, I always like to be prepared. So doing a duet with someone I have not met in front of millions of people is way out of my comfort zone. So I'm right where I want to be. face getting clearer the past is gone I'm here to go back just to talk isn't that the way everybody's got their dues in life to pay
blessed to have been here for this performance. Yeah, this wasn't a performance. This was a concert. And we have the best seats in the house. That's right, that's right. And made even more amazing by my sister from another mister, Nicole Scherzinger. Yeah! Nicole, now is there anything that you learned from this performance, whether it's about who this could be or even just as a performer? As a performer, I mean, God, she's just born with it. She's a natural and she's just all heart and soul. And she's so generous and so giving. I mean, it's just a blessing to have you on this show this season. That was a diva love session. Yes, a diva was. love session. Can we just say how fine Miss Cleopatra looks That's over there? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> the glow is real. I mean, Nick, you're not the only one with capes, OK? <laughs> uh, Look, I mean, I've been waiting six seasons to sing, all right, people? <laughs> <laughs> and you killed it indeed. Incredible job to the both of you. Now, Queen of Hearts, you can head on backstage to your throne. Keep it going for us. excited to sing with Nicole, but never having met the person you're singing with, it's definitely strange, but hey, I had to see and feel with my heart. Who is that? Welcome back to the Mad Singer Group B Finals. Before we go any further, how about those duets? Yes! Amazing! Great. You guys killed it! I'm here with Banana Split and Queen of Hearts one of the most competitive races we've had in Mass Singer history ever. It's time for the audience, panel, and our super fans across America to vote for their favorite of the night. loser will be forced to unmask and the winner will move on to face Bull in next week's season finale. The votes are in. Oh man, my heart. The winner of Group B uh. is You guys are all amazing. Two of the best ever. Oh man, this is too hard. Too different. Come on, Nick, it's killing me. Queen of Hearts! Oh. Woo! Oh. 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 Crazy. Congratulations! Queen, you are headed to next week's finale. How are you feeling? Oh, Lord. I'm just shaking. <laughs> Now, how do you feel about taking on the bull? Gosh, I guess we'll just have to see when we get there. It's gonna be a tough match for that golden mask trophy, but we believe she could get to it and do it, right? Thank you. Now, go ahead and head on back to the lair and prepare for next week's finale. Take care, Queen. Then in black, help her out. And while we're cheering, let's give it up for Banana Splits. <laughs> 